Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now as you can see from the title above, today's video is all about the Samsung Galaxy S22, the smallest guy in the entire S22 series. Now the reason why I actually love this device so much is not just because of its compact size, but also how it actually feels like to use on the daily. Now I've been using this device here for the past one week now and I definitely have a lot of ideas or thoughts in my mind that I would like to share with you. Now if you notice, I actually reviewed the Ultra version a couple of weeks back, but this is actually the one that I really liked, even though I purchased the S22 Plus as well. Uh, both devices here are purchased so that I can actually get a feel on which one I actually like and then I will actually just sell off one of these devices here so that I keep the one that I like the best. So before we begin, let's just talk a little bit about the price of the Samsung Galaxy S22. Now here in Malaysia, Samsung Malaysia is giving us a ton of different campaigns. There's a lot of promotions going on. There is one that actually awards you, you know, if you buy this device, you get a free Galaxy watch and that's approximately 900 ringgit. So it's a very good deal. I was able to purchase mine for a special discount for just RM2975 and that is seriously a very good price. In case you're from other parts of the world, that's approximately $700. US Very affordable for the amount of specifications that you're getting in this little guy. Now done with the price which I'm absolutely happy about, let's talk a little bit about the design because there's a lot of things that I like as well. Now starting off, initially when I saw the design, I felt that it was a little bit bland. I felt that it looked very typical of Samsung devices. But as I used it for the week itself, I felt that I was growing towards it. I love the fact that everything is totally blacked out. We have this very nice matte back here which feels awesome to the touch. Minimal fingerprints and I think there are a couple of different colors as well but I love the black the most. Now like I mentioned, I even have the green right Right here but after looking at both devices for you know almost more than a week now I definitely prefer the one on the black. Uh, one thing that I do have to complain though is that the camera cutout is actually quite sharp on the edges at the back and when you hold your phone like this it sort of you know pokes into you so it's not that comfortable but other than that yeah very happy with the design. Uh, you do have IP68 rating here so you don't have to worry about water, rain or dust and all that so that's great. Apart from that you do have very very awesome stereo speakers. You have your type C port at the bottom. Again everything is there. What you Need is all over here except for the headphone jack. Now done with just the design and all that, I think it's very subjective and you know it's just a love it or hate it kind of look. I think it's fine. Let's talk a little bit about the display at the front. Now we do have an awesome display at the front here. Now this is just a 6.1 inch display which is very small and I think it fits perfectly in my hands here actually. Now I've actually had the chance to try out a couple of compact devices. I also have the Xiaomi 12 which is slightly larger than this little Samsung S22 but yeah I found that this size actually works really well. Now the best part that I love about this display here is that it is completely flat on the front. There is no curve on the sides and that makes it like super easy to use. You don't have any accidental touches at all on the sides and it's just perfect. Now in terms of the image quality and the numbers that you need to know. Now this is actually a 1080p device but the fact that it's 6.1 inches means that you have a PPI of 485. That means it is freaking sharp here on the S22. Apart from that you also have the dynamic AMOLED that means you have variable refresh rates. It is 120 hertz that means everything is battery smooth. The touch sampling rate is actually 240 hertz which is not spectacular but it works great on the device itself. Now apart from that it also supports HDR10+. You have a brightness levels of all the way up to 1300 nits which is really really bright. And other than that, it's also protected by the Corning Gorilla Glass Victus. That means you don't have to worry about any scratches on the display itself. It doesn't even come with a screen protector attached. Now that's just in terms of the display. Overall, I think it is one of the best displays. Like I mentioned earlier on, a 1080p device on a 6.1 uh, form factor is just stunning. It just looks amazing, guys. The colors are great. We have awesome contrast levels. Watching movies is so good on this somewhat small display. Now, do I have anything to complain about the display? Yes. Sometimes uh, when you play games, you know, your hands might actually go over the entire screen because it is quite a small form factor. So if you play games quite a lot, uh, you might actually want to think about that. But overall, I still think it is very, very usable. Now let's move on and talk a little bit about the cameras at the back because this is also something pretty cool here. Now we do have the exact same sensors at the back with the S22 Plus but we are missing out the 108 megapixel main camera that was on the Samsung S22 Ultra. Is it a big deal? In my opinion, it is not. Now we do have a 50 megapixel main sensor. We also have a 12 megapixel ultra wide. And last but not least, we have a 10 megapixel telephoto lens that comes with OIS. There is no useless macro or you know depth sensors over here. So everything here is very useful. Now in terms of the image quality, I took 
quite a fair bit of photos. You can notice that during the day, if you're taking indoor shots of just objects, the pictures look very color accurate. It looks very, very good, guys. There's a lot of detail and it looks very realistic. But if you do shoot a little bit outdoors where there's a very blue skies and you know, a lot of green trees, I actually went to the park to take a couple of photos. You notice that the skies are always, you know, a little bit more bluer. The colors just pop a little bit more on these photos. But overall, I think it still looks great. Now, moving on to the ultra wide here again with the 12 megapixel ultra wide, we are getting a lot of detail. There's not a lot of soft ranges on the sides of the image like we see on other ultra wide sensors. Overall, we're just getting a very pleasing image that is you know, a lot of detail and color looks very accurate as well. Overall, cameras wise, I love everything with it. Uh, detail, colors, everything just looks great. Now, in terms of video, we can go all the way up to 8K at 24 FPS, but typically I only record at 4K at uh, 60 fps so that's what i actually did with the device it also has ois on its main sensor that means recording videos everything is very smooth you do not have a lot of jitters the ois works perfectly fine so if you like to take a lot of videos you might actually want to consider getting the s22 now in terms of heating it does heat up a little bit and it drains quite a fair bit of battery when you use the camera quite a lot so you might just want to take note of that now moving on let's talk a little bit about the processing power because we do have the latest snapdragon 8 gen 1 in here in terms of ram options we only have 8GB of RAM here in Malaysia. I'm not sure about other countries out there. And in terms of storage options, we have 128GB and 256GB. Bear in mind that the SIM card slot here is a strict dual SIM, uh, SIM card tray, so you are not able to put in any micro SD, so you cannot expand your memory on the S22. Now, in terms of performance, obviously, since we are getting the best processor here, yeah, everything runs really well. Uh, if you just launch apps, you know, the camera, everything is super quick. However, when it comes to gaming, I did notice that it tends to heat up quite a lot and I'm sure some of you guys might already know that Samsung is throttling the processor when it comes to games and I did experience that in Mobile Legends. So when I was playing Mobile Legends, after like 5 or 6 minutes, I noticed that there was a little bit of stutter here and there, just a little bit, not too major, but I did notice it in the game itself. So that kind of ruins the performance a little bit, but I know that uh, Samsung is working on an update to the GOS, the game optimizing system or something like that. Uh, and that should actually give us back the maximum potential that we can get from the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. So definitely looking forward to that. Uh, overall performance wise, if you are not a heavy gamer, I think this is absolutely perfect for you. Now moving on, let's talk a little bit about the battery that we have in the back. Now this is actually one of the uh, weakest part of the Samsung S22. Now, although it is not as slim as you might imagine, we only get a 3,700 mAh battery. Now, worse still, it only supports 25 watt fast charge and you do not get the charger in the box. So based on my daily use, I noticed that the battery was draining quite a fair bit. I mean, obviously it is a small battery, so it will drain faster. I played a couple of games. I even played like, uh, watched a lot of YouTube as well. Did a lot of browsing here and there. And my screen on time was approximately five to six hours, which is not great. Now, when it comes to charging, it is also a very slow story. I mean, I have my U Green charger. I'm not sure if you guys know that brand. It supports, I think, 60 watt fast charge, but apparently it's not really compatible with this guy. So it took me from 15% uh, to 95%. I got an 80% in approximately one hour flat. So it's definitely not the fastest out there. One hour to charge the phone. I guess I got to go and check out the uh, charger officially from Samsung. But yeah, in terms of battery life and just charging speeds, it's not the best out there. But yeah, you're getting a compact device, so this is something that you should be expecting. All right, so that's just in terms of the battery. Overall, guys, uh, who is this device for? Am I happy with it? I must say that yes, I'm still very happy with this device here. I love everything about it. Uh, the display is awesome. It's one of the best displays. And again, at 425 PPI, it is super sharp. The bezels all around are symmetrical. You have that awesome look. Uh, Apart from that, the cameras are great. You have a very good processor in here, apart from gaming. Uh, and yeah, overall, it's just a very, very good device, a very good compact device that you can get in 2022. If you are looking to buy something that will, you know, uh, ensure that you can use it for the next couple of years, you are the kind of person who changes your phones, you know, once every two or three years, not every year, then this is actually something that you can consider because if you want the compact size, this is the best that uh, money can buy today. Of course, there are other options like the Xiaomi 12, which is going to launch very soon. You also have the Asus Zenfone 8, which is using Snapdragon 888. So yeah, but overall, if I had to choose one, I will definitely go with the Samsung S22. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you found it a little bit more useful. If you like this video, don't forget to drop a like, sub to the channel, and thank you for staying all the way to the end. I hope to see all of you guys in the next one. Stay safe, everybody. Bye.